There's Linus twice. I've got Linus in my hand and in the book. <sighs> hey, there's a new Peanuts movie coming out. I was just in one of my second chance stores. That's what I'm gonna call them here in Canada and it's called Winners. It's like a like a TJ Maxx in the States. They're all part of the same company. Marshalls, TJ Maxx, Winners. I found this Peanuts, my busy book. And because the Peanuts movie is coming out, I thought this is perfect. And I noticed inside that they had some little figures. Sometimes the paint jobs on the ones that come in these books aren't so good, but these figures are actually painted really well and they look really good. There's a Smurfs version of this that I've seen before. There's many others, but sometimes the paint jobs are really bad on some of the figures. The Smurfs one isn't so bad, but I kind of I was gonna get it, I wasn't gonna get it. I'm gonna see. I'll open this one and I'll see how much I like it and I'll see how much I like the figures. But from what I saw on the inside, it looked pretty good. Includes a story, 12 figurines, and a play mat. So it's just like a really cool play set called My Busy Books. We can get them at a few places here. You can also get these at the dollar store sometimes. I have not seen a Peanuts one there, so I did pay a little more for this, because you can usually get those for $3. Inside there's a comic book. I could probably read this. I could do that in another video, but yeah, really cool. I think these are like some of the most traditional stories from Peanuts, one of the more popular. Let me open these up. We'll take a look at all the figures and stuff inside. I wouldn't say that this is good for traveling, even though it is a set, which they probably intend to make it like a carry away set. I don't think I would recommend that because there's no way to keep the lid on it. There's no way to keep it shut. Everything would spill out once you get that piece of plastic taken away. I will show you the playmat first. I think it's really big. This would make a really cool poster, perhaps. This is actually like a plasticky paper, very glossy. It feels quite durable, but I don't like the wrinkles. Maybe you could iron it slightly or something to get the wrinkles out. That's the kind of thing bothers me because it doesn't lay really flat and stuff. I like how they divided it up into segments like a comic book. That's kind of cool. But they have this giant play area. <laughs> you can play on the street and there's some kids that are already playing. And then they have this house and yard. It's a little more empty. And then on the bottom here we have a baseball field. The comic is really good and the details are kind of cute to see the kids all playing around there. I like that house. It reminds me of a Simpsons house. It is a better quality piece of paper. I definitely see playability with this mat. Oh, I like this guy's outfit. <laughs> awesome. They're playing in the pool. Now the paint jobs are really good on these ones, which is very rare for these. This is Shrouder. Look, this is a really nice minifigure. All right, so this is Marcy, and she has no eyes or glasses. It's really cute, starting off with more of the rare characters, so that's really cool that they made these. Here's Charlie Brown himself, cute. He's got his quintessential outfit on. Let's see what the bottom looks like, does it say anything? PNTS. Oh, maybe that stands for peanuts without the vowels. Then we have Woodstock. And Woodstock is small and in a bird bath to scale, much more to scale than these latest McDonald's toys where Woodstock is almost as big as Charlie Brown. Not cartoon accurate. So that's really cute. That was a great way to make a figure for Woodstock and make him to scale. And then we have Linus here. Cute. Let me get out Lucy. There she is, she's got her blue dress on. You gotta love all of their little sneakers. They're always awesome. Green socks on, green socks on. She's smiling, she's not looking all cranky in that one. And then there's Sally. And she's got on a pink with black polka dots. And she's cute, I like how her hair goes up in the back. Kinda like Dracula or something. Cute. Next, we have Peppermint Patty. Not the best likeness of Peppermint Patty, but you definitely know who she is because of her sandals, because of her green striped shirt. She's very sporty. She's the tomboy. Freckles, smile, 
to that hair. Yeah, her face is a bit off. That's her best friend here, Marcy and Peppermint Patty. And we have Franklin, cool, awesome. He's in his traditional outfit, cute. It's really good to get Franklin. He's a more rare character in the story. Nice, this is a lot. Um, oh, and there we have Snoopy, Charlie Brown's dog. He's the star of the show, Peanuts, the animal sidekick. And he's like a good scale. Notice how he's like a little smaller. And here's his pal, Woodstock. And cool, cool accessories. We got a Snoopy house. It's like really sturdy, a nice chunk of plastic. And I guess you could stand on top of his roof. He does everything. He does everything in this house. It's a very important part of his story. And we started with Shrouder. Now we are end with Shrouder's piano. Come on. And Snoopy can dance on it, on the piano. Very, 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 very awesome. Again, made really well. Super cool little set. I probably now will hunt down that Smurf one that I saw a while ago because I think these are really cool little minifigures. I'm very, very, very happy with these. And these are bigger. Usually the figures are smaller. So this is a very nice, substantial set of toys. So this is a really cool activity book. I'm so happy I got this. Figures are really, really cute. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Marcy has no interest in sports. Peppermint Patty couldn't care less about studying, yet these two very different girls are the best of friends.